guys, Tom Sky here. Update from Newport, Oregon, September 11, about 7 p.m. Uh, the visibility keeps changing uh, from bad to really bad, and we have an example of really bad visibility here. The smoke uh, persists everywhere. Uh, top to the bottom of the west coast. The entire west coast is covered in a similar view like, like here. And uh, this is quite a depressing sensation to be honest. Uh, depressing, why depressing? Uh, uh, because of the psychological effect perhaps of this uh, bizarre, bizarre event that's taking place and uh, limited explanation of what truly uh, causes those fires and uh, enormous uh, devastation of forest and wildlife. It's something that I cannot even uh, find words for. It's extraordinarily uh, depressing uh, knowing that millions of animals perished and um, last few days here in Newport I witnessed uh, people uh, acting really chaotic uh, uh, new stories flooding in, people cannot uh, go back to anywhere. Their entire home is disintegrated into dust. And there is so many uh, people like that right now driving, confused, uh, trying to comprehend what really took place. So uh, I ask for more comments uh, on the subject of the source of the fires and uh, uh, when we link certain events together, uh, there seem to be, seems to be uh, uh, lots of uh, dots that are asking to be connected. They're nearly right next to each other and patterns are simply the way to uh, observe things. If you're a keen observer, you will start to uh, get an idea of the big picture of what's, what's happening to our country as we watching and uh, blaming one another and uh, trying to uh, make your neighbor faulty and uh, framing each other in uh, all kinds of categories from political to religious and left versus right, black versus white and so on. This is not the time. The tension is on everyone uh, naturally but uh, perhaps this is the crime of, I mean, I'm sorry, this is the time of great unity, time of great unity. Ask me how, I don't know, but there is a hope. I'm trying to get through another day. Uh, what's saving me from breathing this toxic air is staying in the hotel room. And the hotel room currently is keeping me and my girlfriend alive. Uh, the reason I say it is because uh, we've been outside sleeping in our van for three days and we really started getting dizzy uh, from breathing a seemingly innocent uh, dusty air but over many many hours of breathing it you actually you can damage yourself over a long time so wear a mask do whatever you must do any comments welcome please looks very apocalyptic tom sky newport oregon